Welcome back. Here's another window view. You can see all the beams all the way to the house now. Boom. All the way to the moon. Yeah. Only room that needs them is that one right there. Beam wise, it's all complete. Need to paint these, the beams. Those are all painted, not on the tops, but who gives a shit? Right there. I'll let you have a nice zoom in. Over to there. And yeah, more detailing today. You Jew motherfucker, you! What are you doing? Uh, trying to hand tighten that, but I'll do it later. We. Yeah, Mr. Wrench. Making the stalls. So the stall separators, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Trevor's doing that. I'm gonna finish some detailing. Life. I'll go show you what we did yesterday. Wow, what, that went right What through. I did. Right through? That was easy. <laughs> there you go. Time to go look at detail. There's that detail. All the way there. Let's go look inside the life. So bathroom detail, beautiful. All the way around. Yay. First place I'm gonna detail is in the side yard. Wanna get that done. Uh, make my way over to the structure hallway, get those two walls in the front and back uh, detailed as well, and a little angle wall part to the light room, and hopefully detail most of the maze, and then finally get the uh, ship actually detailed as well. So we finished the detail from yesterday, put the bathroom sign, put these up, a little bit of blood right there, all of that right there. And then into here, one of my favorites as always, is the bathroom. So those things that Trevor was cutting, the stalls, we attached those right there. So I need to put the tarp up on the top in here just because it's just too plain. But here is the bathroom stalls. So they walk in, an actor can go on either that one or the, the next toilet. Put these in right here, detail them, they look old and gross. I need to do that side though, it looks too plain for me. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Yeah! We got all this, it's like a miniature little bathroom. And the next one right there, a little bit of blood, rotten hell. Put the mirrors up as well, plus a little first aid kit in there. As you can see right there. As always, one of my favorite rooms, I, I love the bathroom, it's just awesome. Lots of detail, lots of gross stuff, I want to put like more shitty blood poop on the wall. That is correct. Floors down, completing that. All the way around here. Foot on the floor, threw that in. Probably add some more stuff. I would like to put some drape stuff here, but I think I actually won't bother because I think that there's just too close to this and because this is like a miniature little kind of room thing, they're just gonna walk in and I would rather them just kind of be slow. Plus it's gonna be very dim in here so they're not gonna be like running into this, I don't think. See all this. And as always, I think anything with a stall where there's like multiple chances for something to pop out, they're not gonna wanna do something. Cause they're not gonna know to just go over there where the hole in the wall is. 
They're just not gonna like walk right into it. Here you go. So this is the first room that's actually done all the way around. We put the tarp or tarps up. This is all detailed right here. Donations are welcome. Table's ready. So the trees are all in place as well. They go along with the beams, screwed in places. But this is the first thing that they're gonna see when they walk in. Looking at the turbines, I think the light is gonna catch these perfect. You're gonna see all the detail on the ship. This tree right here, Kyle can actually pop out over there. You'll be able to like see into the, I mean they won't be able to see in there, but like he'll be able to see you. So walk up this way and then they will literally, if they want to turn around, they can see all this detail as well. Turbine engines, pain in the ass. And the fact that these are finally on is just what completes everything. I mean, these were not on for such a long time. And uh, I mean, they've been done since the start, but it's just, we put it off because they're heavy. Then the next part is this, has the tarp on. They see this. We put the numbers on, hang some extra shit in the windows. At night, you can't see this at all, the black over there, so that's awesome. Pelts are up, mailbox, sexiness. All of this though is done all the way around over there. Face piece is right there, up like that. I don't know if we're gonna have anybody in there. I think we're gonna have a ghillie suit right here or something like that, just hanging out, scare them when they go through because they're gonna see this and I don't think they're gonna get the gist to probably go on the deck. We'll have to see how that works out, but um, him being right there will help a lot. Then through here, this is all done now with all the camo knitting. Into here, put the prop up right there in the cockpit. Broken glass, the plexi's up as well. I don't think I pointed that out. So that's how the plexi looks. It's like that. Frosted the edges so you can't see all the way in. With the lights, you're only gonna see like little, little bit inside. You won't really be able to see it, just little glimpses in the dark. A Little bit of blood. The other side looks like this, right here like that. This does not have coverage right there, unfortunately. This is the tarp we chose. Should be fine, but I hate that you can see the house right there. Up this way. More darkness over here. They go in. See all the blood. I did some blood detail as well. This bloody guy right here. And then blood all over the place. I'll be popping out through the glass right there. You'll see that. So this was hard to do. We created the stand using some PVC pipe right there, plus an extra beam. Screwed into the floor, painted brown. Blood right there. And then screwed in right here to the actual panel as well, the wire running. I actually put one of the lights up right there. And then, this is this guy looking at you. And around this way, the vents, some extra blood right there, detail going down, up to this point at least, so it got a little rust, probably do a little extra detail, I'd like to, but get this, whole cockpit looks like this though, and you can see all the way through, like I said, see so you got the frosted like glass all the way around, so you can't see the outside, but it's cool because once you're inside, you're going to see a little bit of the outside blue kind of look like night and you'll get like that whole 360 degree like perspective I guess put a keyboard this is not in place that's shitty so the wire right here goes up and into there which is our fog machine or what is it co2 or whatever little geyser RGB that's gonna shoot down on them we gotta mount it up there, wire wrapped around this. That's Trevor's handiwork. I love the little snake around there. And there's a second fog machine right here, inside actually, that goes right over there into that uh, turbine engine and that one right there. Billows out the fog, or it should billow out the fog from right there. We'd like to put lights in there that are on a dimmer so they gotta go on and off. Should be seen too because people will definitely see that at least coming in over here. Right here. Walk in, see that, some fog coming out. That should be cool. Probably billow some fog inside as well because the stuff that comes out of the, the stuff on top of you dissipates so it won't be like too much. I don't think it'll be overwhelming. 
So lockers are in, finally. Put some of this shit up right here. Into here. Detailing got done. You saw that in the time lapse. All right there. Did a little splatter of blood. Put this guy on the table just to get him ready so he's there. All the detail right there. All the way around. Detail right there. Pretty empty in here. I want to fill in some stuff like maybe a rack right there. Rack right there. Get that in so it's actually like filled up a little bit at least. I think this is going to be Trevor's room. I actually think he wants to switch rooms so he'll probably be in here. Being the uh, person that like does the lobotomies or whatever. Quote unquote. Detail this right here. Needs a little more spray detail on the sides and probably up top right there. Did some blood right here. More detail needed in here. Gotta get that done. Put the last two banners up as well. Right there, it's gonna be the last thing I do today. Got this one up finally. Like I said, it was gonna be a couple days before it came. But here it is. All blown up and big. So the newest addition to the banners up front. Have some eye candy right there. With this one from last year. Got a purple light right there and the orange one at the end. For the people in line, because they're gonna be like this, walking up, and then, and that's gonna be the main door right there that people come out, like the actors and stuff, uh, as far as everything goes. By this guy. Maybe a photo op right there. Nice piece of space art for the little kids down the street. In addition, all these over here. Put this up as well. Print out a poster with the details of uh, just when we're open. So that's finally done. Put that up. They get to see that. See all the banners. Walk in. Yeah. Back inside. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. So, Brandon Splatter on Facebook. Trevor Nielsen on Facebook. Add us. Uh, Instagram. Bransterdam. T underscore Neely 13. Add him. Perdition underscore home on Instagram, perditionhome.com, Perdition Home on Facebook, like the page. The spread shirt, go buy a shirt if you haven't already, check it out. You can have some of those cool designs from the front on your shirt, wear that around, brag. And yeah, stay tuned for more. <laughs>